Malaysia is a country that's part of the new so-called free trade deal, the Trans-Pacific Partnership. And this raised quite a bit of concern because it's a country that flat out tolerates out and out slavery. Slavery is occurring inside of Malaysia and the government is not doing much uh, to fight it, if anything. So Democrats uh, tried to squeeze in an anti-slavery provision into the TPA fast track bill. So the bill that's supposed to give Obama more authority to get the TPP in place. Uh, and Obama and the GOP teamed up and they blocked it. Just think about that. So Obama's working with guys like Mitch McConnell to try to get an anti-slavery provision out of the TPP, which shows you that Obama is very corporatist in some ways. So it, that's insane. <laughs> But then somehow the Democrats actually managed to win on that issue. And they said, look, you're not going to get the votes for the TPA unless you get this provision in there. So uh, the right caved and Obama caved. They put it in there. But magically, the status of Malaysia as a country that tolerates slavery changed. Hmm. So Crooks and Liars explains here, they say, quote, One good thing did make it into the recent fast track bill. The bill said the administration cannot go into a trade deal with any country that is a tier three human trafficking violator. The Trafficking Victims Protection Act requires the State Department to compile a trafficking in persons report that ranks countries according to their compliance with certain standards. Countries are ranked Tier 1 if they fully comply with the TVPA's minimum standards, Tier 2 if they do not fully comply but are making significant efforts to come into compliance, or Tier 3 if they do not fully comply with the minimum standards and are not making serious efforts to do so. They continue here, in 2014, the State Department demoted Malaysia to Tier 3 status for being a destination for men, women, and children subjected to forced labor and women and children subjected to sex trafficking. Uh, Malaysia's 4 million foreign workers are threatened by large smuggling debts and confiscated passports that put them at the mercy of recruiting companies. Women in particular, recru recruited for hotel or beauty salon work, are routinely coerced into the commercial sex trade, and forced labor runs rampant in agriculture, construction, and textile industries. Isn't that incredible? So this is a country that we uh, let into the TPP. They say, quote, Malaysia was a tier three country in 2014. So in other words, they had slavery. Uh, the 2015 TIP report was supposed to be released in June, but was delayed. The report was released on Monday, and it changes Malaysia's TIP rating from the worst tier three to a tier two. And then here's the most important line. Even though there is little or no change in Malaysia's actual performance. So in other words, the United States government is turning a blind eye to slavery in Malaysia because that would benefit our corporations in this so-called free trade deal. <laughs> I've honestly never read a better indictment of our political system. I mean, this shows you 100%, without a doubt, we're not living in a democracy. And we're not a country that cares about uh, freedom or human rights. I mean, in essence, we are living in an oligarchy, or we are living in a kleptocracy or a corporatocracy. I mean, this is government of, by, and for the corporations, of, by, and for the billionaires. And they say, we will make more money if we can use slave labor in Malaysia, so let's just pretend like Malaysia doesn't have slave labor, let them into this so-called free trade deal, and we make more money, and we get uh, cheaper goods, and we pretend like there's nothing wrong that's happening here. Okay, but if you do that, you're immoral bastards. You're unethical. You are aiding and abetting slavery, and in reality, you are fine with it. You're letting a country that does slavery into a free trade deal, and you're going to exploit the slavery on your own. That makes you on par with the slave master. But hey, it's in Malaysia. Who gives a fuck about some poor peasant Malaysians? Fuck them. We don't know them. I mean, that's really the mindset that has to go into this. Because there's no, there's no way that anybody can really rationalize this to make themselves think like, no, no, we're doing the right thing. Giving a, a, a vote of approval, a thumbs up to slavery, 
under no circumstance is the right thing. And we have a so-called liberal democratic president who's like, uh, my puppet masters really want this, so I guess I'll fight on the side of Mitch McConnell and the fucking Republicans to get it through. And he, even the, the good Democrats, it really uh, was just showmanship. It was kabuki theater at the end of the day. They're like, ah, oh, look, we're going to vote for the terrible deal also, but we're going to put a provision in there that says no slavery. Praise us, please. <laughs> Why the fuck would I praise you? So you got a no slavery provision in there, and then they just change the status of the country that does slavery without them actually changing the fact that they do slavery. This is unreal. And then also, I mean, it shows you, we, ca we care about freedom and democracy, except we don't, and we'll do deals with slave countries. So we don't. But furthermore, you know what other uh, nation is in the deal? Brunei. You know what Brunei has? Sharia law. They just implemented it. So all this talk about we got to fight in Iraq and Afghanistan, in Afghanistan, Al-Qaeda was there, and the Taliban's taking over parts, and they do Sharia law, we can't have that. We got to protect the people from Sharia there. You know, we're the good guys. We, we protect freedom and democracy. That's why we're there. Really? So you fought in Afghanistan to make sure that they don't get Sharia law, and then you let Brunei, who does Sharia law, into the deal, and you, you didn't tell them, hey, you got to get rid of Sharia to get in the deal. And you didn't tell them, hey, if you keep Sharia, you're going to stay out of the deal. You're rewarding a nation that literally just implemented Sharia law in 2014. They announced that they were implementing Sharia, and then Obama goes, and the, the U.S. government goes, okay, now you can come into the TPP. It's almost like you're rewarding them for doing Sharia. Oh, it's absolutely ridiculous. Don't fucking talk to me about we care about freedom, we care about democracy, we care about human rights. My ass you do, because if you did, these issues would not be debatable. You would never let a Sharia country into a trade deal. Oh, and by the way, we already know we're buddy-buddy with Saudi Arabia. There are oil sugar daddies. They could do whatever the fuck they want. Or, and you wouldn't let a fucking slave country into a trade deal where uh, billionaires in America and corporations are going to benefit directly from slavery. It's not even that you're not opposed to it. Apparently, you're just for it because you fought for it. So in essence, you fought in many ways to keep a slave system in place. So in other words, you're the fucking bad guys.